Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new chapter of One Piece, which is on chapter 1120. This chapter right here was actually pretty crazy, and after this, I think there's only a couple more left. And with things going on, I hope they all get out soon, because a lot is going down very badly. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to, we get to know about 26 years ago about Punk Hazard, you know. We get to see Vega and Punk talking to someone that has that has a clover that has a clover faced up mustache and hair, you know. He ends up having to talk about someone about someone named Clover D Clover D Clamor D Clover or something like that. He was a brother of his, you know. I don't know. We have two of Vegapunk and him end up talking with each other, and I think this Clover guy wanted to ask Vegapunk for help, but unfortunately, Vegapunk refuses to help him, you know? We later on go back to another 22 years ago, is that, like, um, Caesar is laughing about the situation about the archaeologist Clover, and that he ends up getting killed, you know? I don't know. Although Vegapunk knows that Nico Robin survived, he ends up crying about the situation and what happened to, uh, what happened to Clover and the others, you know? Now we get to go back to present time where Vegapunk talks gives out his message about that about the forces of the past calling out to you. Robin herself, you know, is like um, unable to bear this information because we all know what happened with her, you know, that kind of situation. And we get to see that um what you may call it, um that Zoro and the others must escape right now, but Lilith says otherwise we can't do that. But Zoro says you don't understand. That old centaur is gonna keep attacking. If he makes one and we have to it that like and Lilith is trying to say otherwise that they don't have much time here and there. Lilith believes that we must defeat freaking like um the old centaur right here and now. Although it is pretty much impossible at this point because even with Zoro and everyone else fighting against the Gorosei horse looking centaur looking guy whatsoever, it's impossible. We had to it Atlas eventually knocks out Lilith and ends up breaking her connection about Vegapunk, you know? We have to it that like um we have to it that, like, um, Atlas tells the others, I leave her in your hands. Take off. I'll make sure you make it out in one piece. Although Usopp and Chopper has an idea what she's talking about, they refuse to let her go, but they have no other choice right now, you know? And we have to it that York is happy about Lilith's axis has been severed and Atlas is the only one left. We have to it Atlas decides to face the Gorosei head on to buy time. As for Jinbei, he ends up getting ready to get everyone to, like, um, launch get ready to escape very soon, you know? But, like I said before, you know, we get to see that, like, um, that Atlas, of course, stood no chance against the Gorosei, obviously, because we get to see that her arm gets cut off by the Gorosei and tries to buy enough time. All I know is, is like, um, we get to see, like, um, the giant robot wrecking havoc right now. Luffy's being happy to see the, to see the art and to see an iron giant whatsoever. And we have to it that like um, the 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 Iron Giant robot is talking to Luffy in his mind, you know. Um, we have to it that like um, you know I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of 900 years old, you know. It's gonna be a little one-sided, you know. I can fight for you again, Joy Boy, etc. All I know is is like um, that this robot plans to protect the protect Joy Boy from the danger, but unfortunately, you know the thing about like um, this machine is that it's very much many centuries or hundreds of years old, you know. But we have to it that like um, that the Marines are trying to shoot down the giant ship whatsoever. The Iron Giant is trying to fight the thing. Unfortunately, stood no chance against them at all. We have to it that the freaking like what you may call it the the Gorosei sandworm looking guy, looking like guy ends up having to chop off or consume an arm of like the giant the the robot whatsoever you know. We have to it of course like um. It looks like to me we get to see the freaking like um, Gorosei are being well are being very strict are, are really trying to sell this once and for all. Even the spider demon like Gorosei saying, I'm not going to let you escape whatsoever. Especially Kuma and Bonnie, Bonnie, the, Bonnie, you know. Of course, like, um, that spider demon would be a pain in the neck, you know. I mean, it's serious stuff. We have to it that the Thousand Sunny is starting to fly right now, like, um, it's starting to fly away right now, etc. We had to, the girl says, you mean to make a grand sacrifice for yourself? But Atlas, nah, 
I'm just lending a hand and ends up blowing herself up. And I mean, Atlas literally blew herself up like in the way that Pedro did it in Whole Cake Island arc, you know? We had to it that, like, um, the Thousand Sunny is safe for now, but we had to it that, like, um... We had to it that, like, York is very happy, you know? And she really ticks me off, man. I really hope some major comeuppance comes after her because of her betrayal to the original Vegapunk and all that. I just want to kill her right now. But Oda... I'm pretty sure he's going to be that trolling guy until the very end, you know? And it's not going to happen anytime soon. Or it may not happen at all because he just loves to have certain pathetic minor villains survive somehow, you know? But that aside, we get to see that, like, um... That Usopp and Chopper cry in tears of seeing Atlas' sacrifice, you know? And we get to see that the robot himself is getting ready to, like, um... Go into action once more, but not before, like, um... Not before he asked Joy Boy, can, this t this is the time you spoke of. Can I can I use it whatsoever? I don't know. But we have to a Vegapunk ends up with the last message about the confidence that you all have the same conclusion at this point, you know. And I anticipate that you will ultimately determine how things transpire in the future. Of course, you know, Vegapunk's message about Gold D. Roger, you know, 25 years ago, the Gold D. Roger has achieved the unpredest unprecedented circumventing the globe, you know. I have no doubt... They heard the whole thing whatsoever. And like I said, the girl say is really on hell bent wanting to kill everybody because that's they can't escape with the information they know, you know? Even I know even that girl even that girl say with the freaking like sword katetsu, you know, which is pretty dangerous considering that whatever katetsu blade he has, I'm pretty sure it must be the very first one, the strongest one of them all. I mean he's a girl say, not to mention not to mention he's possibly the, the, he's the final boss. He has to be super strong. That aside, um, we get to see like um, you know the Iron Giant taking action, and the Spider Demon lands on the on the giant's ship, unwilling to let them escape, and plans to kill them. Well, of course, kill everyone, especially Kuma and Bonnie, because you know there are many reasons for that. That aside. We don't know how much time is left for them to escape, but they have to run at this point. Even Luffy says, we stand no chance against someone who can regenerate and freaking come back infinite times, whatever they want to, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, um, thought the chapter was pretty cool. All I can really tell you without a lot of detail and complicated situations and complicated situations. Vegapunk's message continued to ramble on and on to the entire world. Lilith wants to suggest a Makes a suggestion, but Atlas knocks her out. Atlas sacrifices herself to buy time for everyone to escape. And the Iron Giant goes into action, but unfortunately for that Iron Giant robot, it stand, It pretty much is pretty weak and stands no chance, you know? Who knows? But that aside, um, the, spot, the girl say, like I said, repeating myself over and over again, is trying to finish things off and kill everybody that's there. Of course, Straw Hat, Luffy, and the others, you know, blah, blah, blah. Etc. Now I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but it's gonna it's it really sucks right now in this arc because a lot of the Vegapunks are killed, and I mean even the original Stella Vegapunk is killed now. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out for everybody. As for York, if she becomes the last Vegapunk, you know, to have all this information, I'd be very upset, you know. But you know that's just how Oda is. I guess he's just showing how screwed up and how m messed up. This final arc is going to be as much as I could com complain and rant about a lot of things about what what he likes to do with his antagonist. I guess we'll have to find out if York's going to get her punishment like um down the line soon enough. I'm just going to have to wait and find out. But, you know, I just hate York, you know, I think she's meant to be hated anyway because she chose to become a betrayer and chose to like um be a celestial dragon. But that aside... Maybe that won't come true because of what's bound to happen. So, until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, I'm off for zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.